Caffarata! Comment so you can hear, because I, um, I think I'm about to get emotional. <laughs> a heartfelt moment for Hector A. Caffarata Elementary Principal, Dr. Jason Kurtz, addressing his staff as they return to campus for the first time since Hurricane Ian. Obviously, a lot has happened at the building. This is just the building. Hector Caffarata Elementary School is y'all and our students. You know, that's... So thank you for all you're doing. And um, let's go look at our building, okay? Caffarata was devastated by the storm. See the, um, that whole big piece of trim fell down? And there's a temporary roof on now to keep everything dry. <laughs> this is what the hallways have been reduced to. If you look up now that we're upstairs, you can see like all this was soaking wet. So you guys can kind of see all the the mold and stuff growing. So that all has to be remediated. Oh. This is Ingrid Mujica's first time seeing her classroom. Oh, gosh. It's a disaster. It's, um, it's really hard to see it. It's really right to focus and, and really um, find what you need. It's hard for me, it's hard for the kids, it's hard for everybody. Really difficult. Oh my God. I don't even know what to take. They're trying to take stuff, but I'm so overwhelmed right now. Is this better or worse than you thought it would be? Um, I, um, I know that was bad, pretty bad. Um, it's worse because it hits you emotionally. It's, it's an emotional thing. You know, this is something that I've done for so many years. And, um, and to see a destroy like this is really painful. So it's actually not that it's worse than what I thought. It's just painful, period. Yeah. Their students are like their kids, and their classroom's like their home right there. So, you know, coming and seeing that it was, it not only was emotional, but it was, it just was like closure, kind of taking what useful items they could from their rooms. Some teachers only had one thing in mind. This is what I came to look for. <laughs> Prices for my kiddos. <laughs> Speaking of kiddos, while their school is out of commission, Caffarata students are sharing space at two other schools. Half are at Hancock Creek Elementary, the other half at Pelican Elementary. Their spirits are high though, definitely. There's only maybe a few that's having a little transitional issues but I think the students are definitely pulling together. They're just happy to be see, the seeing our friendly faces, that's all. Resilience, the Caffarata way. I could try putting it into words, but I'll yield to Dr. Kurtz. I wrote a poem for you all last night. <laughs> you know me, I gotta write something, right? Respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Treasure hunting and growth is what we all yearn. The treasure of each other and growth as a team, every day making progress even more than it seems. First there was COVID, a worldly pandemic. Now Hurricane Ian is certainly anything but academic. Our building is damaged and so are our hearts, but nothing can stop us because our students are smart. And while we may stand here with tears in our eyes, out of the destruction, Hector Caffarato will rise. For Lee Schools TV, I'm Adam Wright.